we were talking with our Red Cross folks who serve there at Walter Reed. And all of these cards were coming in, and they couldn't deliver them to the soldiers. We put out a call for volunteers, and I was amazed inside of our building the number of Red Crossers who signed up to help open cards. And over the course of several Saturdays, processed about 650,000 uh, pieces of mail. The cards were so heartfelt and the greetings seemed so sincere and America and these cards just poured out their hearts to our troops and that was amazing to see. I saw letters came from kids in different school systems in different parts of this country. Don't forget some of the veterans too. There's some Vietnam yeah, War guys that sent some stuff I think, su supporting them, making sure they're, they're going to do okay. They got through it. They can get through this too. And it was so powerful. It was. It was powerful to the to those soldiers who came down from Walter Reed to help us sort cards down in the cafeteria for those Saturdays. I believe it was a colonel actually told us that over the years he received cards when he was out of country and actually serving in the military. So that was really great because it was kind of inspiring for the rest of us. I think a lot of times we don't understand how we can reach out to other people by sending somebody something. You know, they could have had a bad day and just one word that they know that people all they care about them makes you want to reach out to help. Unfortunately, not every every member has family and friends back home to write to. So a program like this really reaches out to everyone. Those cars could touch their heart and just spark something and just give them life back again. Acknowledge and let them know that what they're doing isn't forgotten. Any way that you can lay hands on this kind of project is going to make you feel better this holiday season because you just have to know how powerful it is to those men and women in the bed, in the facilities, whether it's whether it's someone who has just returned from theater or one of our veterans in these VA facilities who don't know that folks are still thinking of them in this way. I'm retired Army, so uh, the service members have a special you know, place in my heart and knowing what it's like uh, during the holidays. And it's a great opportunity to give back uh, and to help some of these service members who've given so much.